and two sweets. Okay, we have to take that times this one single double sweet. Okay, and I'm gonna just do this here real quick. Um, two fifty and a sweet is expensive. Okay, so let's ask ourselves: Would it make sense to take three times two twenty? Yeah, because there's three rooms in bed and breakfast A at two twenty a night. Would it make sense to go two times two fifty? Yeah, because there's two rooms at two fifty a night and two rooms at three sixty a night. Would it make sense to add those all together? Yes, that makes sense. So your answer would be a this is a three by three times a three by one. We would have a matrix that looks like this for A, a dollar amount. So that's what that's what it needs to look like. Or you could go like this. Now this is a little bit more advanced, but you could definitely do it. You could go to 20, 250, 360, dollar amount for single double suite. But then when I write this other matrix, what would have to be over here? Single double suite, wouldn't it? And this would have to be matrix A, or um, this would have to be uh, bed and breakfast A, B, C. So how would that compare to our original matrix? It's switched around. That is actually called transposed. I mean, that's not gonna be on a quiz or anything. What do you call it when you flip a matrix? Okay, it's what's called transposed. So this three, two, two would have to be here instead. And then it would still make sense. So technically there are two different ways to multiply this out and have it make sense. Okay, because down here would be a dollar by room size times room size by bed and breakfast. And then you get the dollar amount available at each bed and breakfast. Okay. Um, for 34, I'll, ju I'll just talk about this one very briefly. You've got these three things here. Well, actually six things. So right now it's a three by two, and they give you information about what each one, how many of each there were. So I don't want to write in this book, at least not with a pen. Draw me a pencil real quick, somebody please. Thank you. I don't want to do a pen. I'll get you your pencil here back. So right now this is a what by what? Three by two. So then they give us information about these three different flower sizes, flower totals. So we would have to do a one by three. Okay. So it just so happens that three would be the different flowers, and this three is how many of each different flower. So again, you just got you got to write in a way that makes sense. On a quiz, I'm absolutely going to make you do that. Okay. I'm going to keep this if you don't mind just for now. Okay, I'll give it back to you. I did successfully steal a quarter from somebody the other day. I was pretty happy about that little thing. But I gave it back to their, their parent later on. I felt bad. And then I got over it. Okay, this one 35. This is a 4 by 2. And so they give us information about the two different sizes, two different uh, sizes of bonus you could get. So we, should, we would have to multiply it by over here, a two by one. Okay, sales, sales person times new or used by new or used times dollar amount. So each salesperson would get a certain dollar amount. Okay, down here, uh, this one, I would not move this matrix, but this is a size by number matrix okay and this one they've given us the dollar amount for every size so your other one had to be dollar amount times size oh dollar amount might by number or by package I'm just trying to save you time by not writing it all on the other sheet so this would be you'd have to take this matrix and technically lay it down it would be 7, 10, 14, 45, 95, 13. 
times this. So then you get the dollar amount, the cost of each package. So it's not only right, it's not, uh, the thing we're not, the dollar amount of each package is not the only thing we're worried about, is I'm worried about you guys writing it correctly. Okay? Because I want to get to where we could do things on the graphing calculator, and garbage into a calculator gets you garbage out. So we've got to be able to set things up appropriately. What? Have you never heard of that before? No. Okay. Any piece of software, if you've got to, if you don't put the right stuff in, then the stuff, whatever you get out is just going to be garbage. So you could use the best tax preparation stuff out there, and if you don't put the right information in, you're going to get Anything you want to take a look at. Otherwise, we're just going to play on our computers, and I'm going to teach you one other use of a matrix. Get your computers cranked up. Oh, wait, good card. On the work, the stuff we have left Okay, so this one right here? Yeah, because I didn't get the right Okay. But I was like off. You were off, huh? Or like, yeah. Oh! On part A or part B? Um, all of them. All of them. Like on each one of them, I was off by so much. Really? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> eight. Divided well, by eight. thirteen divided by eight. Well, you take thirteen divided by eight for the price for each of yeah. these. That should have worked then. So what you should have is 70, 40, so now we're at 110, 28, so now we're at 138, 45, so now we're at 183, 95, so we're at 278, and then we have 11 times 13, um, 278 plus 142, 278 plus 142, 278 plus 142. I'm getting 420. Okay, it was a dollar off. But I, but I think maybe it's just a calculation error of some sort. Because you did. Okay. Well, let's take a look. So I'm going to go 70 plus 40 plus 28 plus 45 plus 95 plus 142. I'm just getting 420. Oh, plus Wait, one. How do you do the wallet thing? That, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I thought you had clarified, that you took 13 divided by 8. Yeah, and then I got point six four. So 64 cents a piece. Yeah. And then I multiplied that by 88 and added that. Oh, oh, no. Oh, you took you took 8 divided by 13. It needs yeah. to be 13 divided by 8. Dollars per picture. Dollars per picture. Okay. Good. Way to be persistent. Nice job. Okay. And it gave me, gave me good practice on the mental math. Okay, before we get on to our computers, I thought, um, yeah, I, I, somebody asked about the nose. I'll, 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 I'll I heard Dennis hurt you real bad. Well, it was, dress, like yes. No, actually, I, well, I wasn't. When, when he, Why did you come out with the battle one? Well, it's just because when, okay, well, I'll just tell the whole story. So I got done taking, taking um, this, this young man uh, trick-or-treating. Um, both his, it's really sad, both, both his parents were killed in the bridge accident, um, the card game. Anyway, and, um, and so, so I, 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 on the way home I stopped and filled up my truck, and then, um, well, I parked real close to his truck one day. Did I tell you guys about that? Yeah. Okay. It was an accident. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. So, um, so I, I, I stopped to fill up my car, and then I come out, and his, his white truck, or white car, is next to my truck, so I can't get in the driver's side. 
So I'm like, oh, okay, huh? I looked around, didn't even see him. So I walk around to the passenger side, and as I walk around to the passenger side, this flash of brightly colored glitter enters my side view, and I look over, and it's Mr. Dennis. He's in some princess dress. I don't know if it's Elsa from Frozen or Snow White or whatever, and he just running at me as hard as he can and tries to tackle me and then he just bounces off and he's at on the ground so so I'm like okay great here we go I gotta deal with this so I set my coffee down and by that point in time since I turned my back to him he got up and jumped on my back and then so I grabbed him by the, by the scruff of his neck and took him up over my head and then I put him in a full Nelson and I think that his tiara scratched me you know, that's the only thing I can figure. It's the only thing I can figure because I didn't realize I was bleeding until I was on the way home. Yeah. So, um, but it, it was pretty funny though because I had him in the full Nelson. He goes, that, that's, that's not legal. Oh. And, then, and so I let him go because he started to cry. And, um, so why did you go with somebody Because I really, I'm not really not into hurting people on but purpose. He's still, but he's still on the ground. Yeah, well, he, his his bru his bruises are probably more emotional. <laughs> yeah, that's been known to happen. She's getting warmed up for basketball season. <laughs> Edie's face is much softer than mine. Oh, yeah. Did he? Did she break your nose? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't know. Well, I almost had to get stitches. Oh. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, th this was bleeding, so I just went home, grabbed the sewing kit, and I... Uh, get your computers out. And then I just put a quick stitch in it. Not a big deal. Is that enough juice to yeah. get you going? Okay, well you can you can you can sit over next to the or you can there's oh there's another outlet over there behind my cookie man. They're both plugged in. Are they really? There there's someone right here. You, you know. have a big extension cord. I do. That's a good point. Uh, I'd have to find it and I really don't feel like it. Um, okay, good. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to um, go to your Google Drive and then go to Google Sheets and we're just going to open up a blank one and I'm going to What we're going to do is we're going to, for, first thing I'm going to do for, so you guys can see, is I'm going to go view um, 200% so you guys can see it, um, but you don't really have to, okay? The other class we ran a little bit short on time, so I'm going to shorten this up just a little bit. Let's take and let's use this cell right here, okay? Not way up in the top, let's just go uh, 5 and next to it we'll go negative 2 and then um, we'll go, I'm going to leave a space and then um, let's do, I don't know, 6, 8, um, negative 3, 10, I don't know. And we're going to teach this, this thing how to multiply matrices. So what we're doing right now is we are doing what a software engineer would do is they'll design the software for somebody else to use it. Okay? Um, so, so you tell me, what would I have to multiply by okay, um, 
Courtney, I, 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 don't, I think I'm still recording. Um, Courtney, no assignment for tonight. Uh, what we're doing here is just playing around with the Google Excel spreadsheet, not something you're going to be responsible for. Okay. Um, 